Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to Product Review. In this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Vanguard Aluminium Tripod ESPOD CX203 AGH with pistol grip ball head. Now this tripod claims to have the following properties. It is supposed to have a unique pistol grip that is short and allows one-handed camera adjustment. The ball head itself of this camera is unique in the sense that apart from panning on three planes which most of the normal tripods do, it can pan on almost all planes. It can keep your camera in portrait mode also and allows vertical filming or taking shots which is not something which is very commonly found in most of the tripods. When fully closed it has a height of about 2 feet and with maximum extension and spread it can reach a height of around 5 feet. It weighs about 1.2 kilograms or around 2.6 pounds and has a load capacity of 3.5 kg or around 7.8 pounds. So let me unbox this now and then we'll figure out how all the claims stack up and anything that really strikes me as important that I would want to mention. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. So this is the tripod and uh, pretty big. I have about a couple of uh, three or four tripods with me already and I purchased this because of the fact that it can rotate in multiple planes and it can also do vertical filming which is something which I tend to do a lot. So I wanted to give a try for this and its price is pretty amazing. This is available in India and this is for about 3200 rupees which would be I think around less than around, around close to I guess 50 dollars. So for a 50 dollar tripod this is really amazing based on the things that it claims to do and we'll check that up right now after we unbox it. So let me just see where I'm going to open it from. So I think all right it seems to be very tightly packed and uh, yeah I think it may be easy to open than it seems yes I don't think I need the knife so there it goes the unboxing and let me see okay the first that we get is the beast itself this is the tripod and This is the tripod. Okay, let me keep it here for a moment. It should also give me the carrying case, I think. Okay, everything is inside this, I hope. And so I'm going to keep this aside. And yeah, the, the carrying case is inside this. And okay. So this is the tripod, very simple, not much. This is the user manual. This is the user manual clamped in between the tripod. All right, it hangs by a thread here. Can I take it off? Well, I should be able to take it off. Yeah, it's just hanging in with the screw. All right, so that's the user manual. Tells you how to position the ball head, how to remove the ball head, or loosen the ball head, tighten the ball head. And these are the legs, as I said. So it's got one clamp here and two clamps. There are totally two clamps. So the extension is with two clamps. So one is this and the other clamp is this. So I'll just show you how, how far it rises up when the legs are fully extended. And the important thing to notice here is this, the bottom part of the tripod. 
if you notice here these are highly rubberized the lot of uh, ribbed markings here so that makes the grip very firm so on very smooth surfaces this is going to be pretty strong in uh, holding on to the ground and this is the ball head and this is what they tell you about the pistol grip and as you can see it can rotate through multiple planes and this is what i was talking about that you know you can use it for a vertical shot see it is like this and i can just twist it like this and i can position the camera here and that would give me the the vertical shot as usual there is a bubble here and in many of the videos of this that i've seen uh, you know people talk about this bubble as if it is something which is uh, never been there on tripods but this is something which you find almost in every tripod so nothing big about it but yeah it's important you need to have that and that will tell you how much properly you have uh, kept the, the 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 camera stand and this can release itself all you have to do is turn this around and you'll be able to take out this camera holder and attach it to the bottom of the camera place it right back into this and there it is it's it's, it's pretty stable now And then what you need to do is just rotate this clockwise and this becomes tight and if you completely rotate it clockwise this will not move it will be very tight now so if you want to move this rotate it anti clockwise and then it can move in all possible angles and you can shoot with all possible frames use the bubble indicator so use this bubble indicator to make sure that it's aligned properly i think yeah i think this is fine this is completely horizontal so that is the thing here what you can also do is there is another knob here if you can look at this knob this is a knob and if you tighten this let me show you what happens if i loosen this well what i can do is i can move this thing can you see this you can move 360 degrees completely around and if you don't want it to move like that just tighten this guy and this won't move any further so this this ring is for the movement of the ball head clockwise is locked and clockwise is open whereas this knob is for making sure that this is able to rotate or can be fixed tightly this one this one is for making this get extended so you can extend this using this knob and another important feature that this has is this rubberized ring now what this does is that in case you forget to tighten this knob i mean you, this is for opening this extension you can push it back you can take it out but you're supposed to lock this but suppose you in case you forget to lock this and it remains open and you already attach your camera and then if you keep it vertical what happens see it go it's here and then it falls up but this rubber prevents any damage to your camera or for that matter the tripod so this is pretty important and i guess and i hope that uh, most of the other tripods also uh, use something like this because sometimes if the camera falls down it will experience a lot of jerk and whereas this rubber is going to make sure that it lands softly so that's it about this tripod and let me show you how much it extends with its uh, complete legs up and then also how much uh, it extends with the extension on top so let me show you that so i'm going to get up i'm going to move my 
chair i open this up uh, it's pretty lightweight so sometimes it might feel a little flimsy because of the fact that it is pretty light but that's pretty good and this is around 5 feet now i'm around 5 feet 3 inches tall so this is around 5 feet right now and if i would extend this this will go up to around 6 feet if i extend this this part so that is the maximum extension that you have let me zoom out a little bit this is the maximum extension that you have so with this maximum extension this is the height that you get for this tripod so pretty decent tripod and i'm going to use this for some of my videos i already have one tripod here and i have got uh, two tripods right in front of me one holding the camera the other holding the teleprompter this is the the top angle shot that i use which is actually a microphone holder condenser microphone holder from rode and i'm using another camera to give me, to give me the top angle so this is also going to be used now i hope you found this video useful and gave you a good idea as to how this tripod can be used what is the efficiency of this tripod and i think this uh, tripod is able to live up to its claims so i'm going to be using it and in case i find something really unique about this the most important thing of course is this fact that i can you know make the vertical shot i'm really excited about the vertical shot you won't find this in any other tripod at least not in most most of the tripod so this is pretty interesting to me so with that this is kalyan kumar signing off have a great day goodbye and thank you for watching if you find the videos of this channel interesting and useful and you haven't subscribed to this channel then go ahead and hit the subscribe button just below the video the moment you are subscribed you will find a bell icon click this and it will give you a notification which says send me all notifications for this channel this means the moment any video is posted in this channel you will receive a notification by mail just check this box hit save now you are subscribed to this channel and now you will also receive notifications from this channel if you like this particular video make sure that you hit the thumbs up button